Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Hmm. Guys, look at the new cup that my friends Midge and Larry gave me there. It is a really beauty. I just absolutely love it. I'll tell you what. Boy, I'll tell you, I sure hope you had an absolutely fabulous weekend like I always do. And like we always say, boy, they ever go by fast and does not matter how many times we go through it. It just seems like a blink and they're gone, doesn't it? Well, guys, tell you what, the article that I was reading today shows you the level of absolute ignorance. Well, the way I would, out of touch, some of these, you know, big time elites are because this article is coming from Al Gore. Now, Al Gore is out there saying, hey, and people having access to information outside of like, you know, the mainstream media is like a threat to democracy. I mean, you have got to be kidding me. He's literally out there saying that, you know, all these social media platforms like YouTube and X and all this kind of stuff and TikTok and, you know, you name it, Instagram, they all should be banned. And the only sources of media that you and I should be able to have access to is what's fed to us from the mainstream. Now, have you literally heard it all if you've heard that? I mean, guys, these people really, really do believe that they have some sort of uptick on the way life should supposed to go way beyond the rest of us that you and I, and they come out with this kind of nonsensical malarkey while they fly around the world in their absolute jets, you know, all these Gulfstream jets and everything and on and on and on. And their houses are like 10, 15,000 square feet. And they're you know, footprint in the in the wide world is just amazing. And yet, you know, because of course, Al Gore was out there and, you know, he was pounding the drum about all the climate stuff and things like that. And the guy's just an absolute hypocrite. But to literally come out and say that we should really, it should be banned because it's a threat to democracy. You know what a threat to democracy is? Taking away people's liberties, taking away their freedoms, taking away their access to information and allowing them to decide what they're going to believe and what they're not going to believe. That's the deal right there. Thank God for YouTube and all these other platforms like X and different things that allow folks like you and I to go out there and literally share our thoughts, views, and opinions. Now, they don't have to be agreed with. And we're not talking about, you know, hate speech and all that kind of stuff. We're just talking about different points of view. Has the country gotten so weak that we cannot accept an opposing point of view? Come on, guys. That is absolutely the road to disaster, but this is what's going on. It is really my numb. I'll put the art of the link to that article right down in here so you can go and read it for yourself. But truly, it is absolutely unbelievable that they would come up, that Al Gore would come out with that, and that you watch all these media platforms publish it. It truly is absolutely nonsense, I'll tell you. One surefire way to literally lose our independence is to acquiesce to that kind of mental thinking, you know, and just submit to that kind of stuff that we can only get our information from what the sanctioned, you know, like me, mainstream media. I mean, come on, mainstream media, as we all know, look, guys. Let's be honest. It's not even news anymore, is it? It's all opinion shows. It's all opinion. If you're watching MSNBC and, and then you turn tune over there and you start watching Fox, you're literally getting the two points of polar opposite points of view on the same information. It's all opinion. You're really not even getting news. You know what the best news is? It's boots on the ground. It's folks like you right there. You guys are the ones that I actually trust the most. When I'm reading these articles, I always love it when I could say, hey, is that really going on in your part of the world like they say it is and this and that? And then people respond back because I'll tell you what, the best information that you're ever going to get are people that are right there living through it and experiencing it. And that is powerful. And of course, that's why they want to take it away from us, guys. They want to take away that power because they need to have absolute dominion and control over the narrative right there. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Think for yourself. Critical thinking, one of the best gifts you can give yourself is to teach yourself how to critically think. Absolutely zero doubt. Well, guys... 
Today, I'll tell you what, I was out early this morning working on my solar project and all that. That's why Coffee Chat's just a little bit out. Can't wait to get it all finished. I'm hoping by the end of the week, it'll be completely done. But needless to say, guys, I'll tell you what, it's really an interesting project and stuff like that. It's always fun. I feel like a, you know, a grown up kid playing with Legos and stuff like that. It's quite interesting to be sure. But I'll tell you what, I sure hope you're having an amazing Monday. I think this week is going to be jam-packed with all kinds of stuff in this space. That's absolutely for sure. And just look at the prices that we saw come up over the weekend. And of course, we're coming back down to retrace to that prior resistance as support. And guys, I really believe that after we tag that down there and we find that support, that boom, we're up for another leg. That's what I suspect happens. And guys, in this space, it happens some fast. That's to be sure. Well, Hey, until later on, when we have an amazing video for you, have a great one, guys, and take care.